Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's the first day of classes, but I couldn't get up in time to start vlogging, show you what I had for breakfast. But right now, me and Mara are on our cappuccino break because our classes are two and a half hours long. So we get a 15 minute cappuccino break right in the middle. So we just got out of our two and a half hour food class. I think me and Mara both thought it was like a cooking class. <laughs> Turns out it's not. We learned about the history of pasta. So now I'm able to tell you where pasta came from and that's apparently important. I can look at and identify every single type of pasta. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what we learned. We learned how to tell good quality pasta from bad quality pasta. It's extremely important. Real life skills we're learning here in Italy. We're going to lunch at our favorite place so far. It's called Bartat. I don't know how to pronounce Bartat. it in Italian. Too, Bartat. Too close to Bartels though. Every time she says that, I think she means the dining hall back at school. We're at our favorite place and at this place you can get like hamburgers, grilled chicken, so it's not just Italian food. But I was given yeah. this. <laughs> what? This isn't a hamburger. I just got this slab of meat <laughs> with fries. <laughs> After lunch, me and Mara both got our um, SIM cards. These SIM cards are supposed to go on the Italian phone that they give us. It's like a smartphone, but it doesn't really work that well. Anyway, we got our SIM cards, and I put mine in, and it doesn't work. It's not giving my phone a phone number. I can't call anyone. I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to make calls on the phone. And I need to call my bank because my bank is not giving me money. My one card that's supposed to transfer money over isn't transferring, but I can't get a hold of them. I don't know what to do. They also like to talk to me in Italian. I have no idea what they're saying. Listen. What? Oh, wait. Do I have to put a one in front of it? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to find someone that knows how to do it. I hope I can find it. We just went through the most stressful thing that I've ever done. We're trying to plan a trip to the Amalfi Coast next weekend, and <laughs> we had to go through trying to find an Airbnb, which took forever, <laughs> train tickets, and we've been sitting here for two and a half hours, stressed out of our minds, but we finally got it done. We're spending $60 a night total. <laughs> the sketchiest condo that I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the dude speaks English either, so I don't know how we're gonna talk to him. <laughs> so that's gonna be great. But we finally got it under $200. It is currently 11.30. I still haven't done homework. We're gonna do that, but I thought I'd fill you in on the most stressful thing that I've ever had to do. So I'm on my way back to my dorm right now. I'm so happy that's over. I will never, ever be planning a trip like that again. But that video should be really, really cool when it comes out. The Amalfi Coast is supposed to be amazing. It's supposed to be gorgeous. I'm hoping that uh, we'll get some really, really good footage and it'll be really, really fun time on the beach with all of our friends. Also, none of our friends that are going have actually booked their trains yet. That's gonna be interesting because so far we're the only ones that actually have train tickets and they might run out. I don't know what they're gonna do. So you all know what my dorm looks like. <laughs> and right now we're in Mara's and this is, this is just so not fair. She has maids who come in, change her sheets, give her new ones, give her new towels, they clean up, they take out their own garbage, they give them like new toilet paper and everything, they have like their own kitchen, their own stuff over here. I wish I would have like faked asthma or something so that I could have a building that actually has AC in it because mine does not. We're just sitting outside for dinner and there was this man that comes up to us. He goes, oh, are you Australian-American? And I was like, I'm American. And I was like, you're Australian? He goes, no, Italian. And I was like, oh. And he goes, University of New Haven. And we're like, yeah, he goes, I was there this morning. And I was like, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> and so he's telling us he knows like the dean of our school and had an interview with him this morning and wants to work there. He was winking and saying his name's Luca and added us on Facebook. And I'm just uncomfortable and I feel like he's watching. He was a very creepy, creepy man. He literally asked Mara out too. Like he said, we should grab like some meat. Inside. So this is our first time at this restaurant and when we got the menu, we were really, really scared because it had like rabbit on it and like weird stuff, but it was all Italian, so we had to Google Translate it. But this is by far the best bread that we've had anywhere at any restaurant. Everywhere else that we've gone, they like only have stale bread. Like that's all the only thing that they have here. It's either stale bread or focaccia. We've only had focaccia at one other place and it was so good. At this place, we got fried dough for the appetizer and it's so good. Good. Q Italian ASMR. Right now. We just finished dinner at this kind of weird place. We probably won't go back there again. But we saw these like glowing tiles and they just look so cool. It comes out of this fountain and we're just gonna follow it and see where it goes. Just 
just kind of stopped. I thought it was going to go somewhere cool. Doing laundry here is so annoying. Even though we live in an American residence hall, the washer slash dryer is in Italian. I'm really out of breath. I've gone up the stairs so many times. But one, I don't know how to read what it's asking me. Two, I have to bring this key card everywhere. This key card gets us into our room, into the building. Also, we have to put it in near our light switch so that it like turns out all the lights on. See, we have to do this. This goes in here, then everything turns on. If not, then nothing's on, it doesn't charge our phones, it doesn't charge our laptops, lights don't go on, it doesn't have the fan going, so when I come into the room, it's cold. But I need to grab Tide Pods. Dash Eco Dose? Maybe that's like an American one. I don't know. It's sometimes a hassle, and we can only do our laundry three times throughout the entire month, because we only get three tokens. And if you're using the washer separate from the dryer, that uses two tokens. Well, um, then you only do one and a half of your laundry. And the washer-dryer combo doesn't actually fully dry your clothes. And here we are with this key card again. I have to take it out so I can get back in. This is just a mess. And let me show you how hard it is to actually read this. Some things are like supposed to be taped off, but they're not. So I don't know what actually is and what isn't and whatever it is, we're not allowed to put on that setting. Where is that? I, I think it's going. Update. <laughs> I never pressed end. It's actually dry. When Corey did his before, it was not dry. Just kidding, I lied. Everything is wet. It was just like literally the top thing that was dry. At least it felt dry because I don't know. Hopefully this gets easier to deal with in the future. So that's it for this week's video. Make sure to like and comment down below and then subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything. More vlogs will be coming hopefully every week. I'm not sure if I'm going to make them every week. School's kind of getting hard. Hopefully I'll be able to keep doing it. Until next time. Ciao. ciao.